I guess the offense, the uh, big playability, what have you? What can you say about the way you guys have been able to hit a few big plays in the last few games? Um, offense been, you know, just work in progress. You know, we've been real productive on the offense side of the ball. So, you know, I feel like we hit a lot of big plays that set up scores for us last week. And, you know, we just got to keep that up in our offense game. Nick Kelly. Hey, Ryan, uh, I just want to ask about your, your touchdown celebration. Uh, take me through kind of uh, what that is exactly or, you know, when you came up with that. And how do you guys decide uh, as players, like, how you're going to how you're going to celebrate touchdowns? Um, that was just, like for me, that was just like the first thing I thought about like, when I scored. Like, you know, I'm not a big, you know, celebration guy. I don't want to, you know, try to do too much, you know, try to celebrate. So, you know, that little celebration is like a, you know, like a relaxed type of calm type of celebration where I can just, you know, do it real quick and you know, get back to the sideline. So, you know, that's just how I go about that one. Joey. Hey, Brian, I'm asking you the same question that I asked uh, Phil. Coach Saban said that he was pleased with the mentality of the team during last week's practices in the bye week. How are you feeling about the team's mentality coming out of the bye weekend, you know, heading into LSU this weekend? Uh, you know, I felt like the team showed up last week, you know, ready to work, you know, with it being a bye week, you know, not having a game to look forward to. You know, the team still responded and came out and, you know, practiced hard and, you know, tried to get better at something, you know, with us having that time off. So, you know, with us coming into this week, you know, it's just got to carry that same energy on into this week and, you know, try to have another great week of practice. So, you know, we're well prepared for LSU. Tony. Hey, Brian, what have you seen from Robbie Utes uh, as a fullback? And uh, also, just has he ever gotten a carry in practice? What's his ball handling skills? You know, Robbie, Robbie a big, you know, solid guy, you know, with a lot of power. You know, he, you know, he, he's in our goal line packages, so he, you know, he does a great job of, you know, filling up, you know, gaps in, in the run game. And, you know, he can, you know, run routes and catch the ball at the backfield too, you know, with his size. And so, you know, he has a lot of, a lot of skills he can display. Nick Kelly. Hey, Brian, uh, just a real quick follow up to my previous question. Like, so is it, are you like pushing something down or I, I've seen it from afar from the press box. So I'm just trying to understand a little bit better. Oh, the celebration. I, I'm not pushing that down. It's like, that's like me telling you to just relax. There's more to come type. That's the type of scheme I got behind that celebration. Like when I score, like if I score the first time, I'll do it just to let you know it's more to come. Like it's just letting you know, like letting the people know relax. Michael. Hey, what do you remember about all the build up and hype before the, uh, the, the last time LSU came to Alabama? Uh, it was quite a bit of hoopla and everything. What was, what was that like from your perspective? Well, you, we all know, uh, you know, last time LSU came here, you know, so, you know, with it, with that, just weighing on us, you know, we got a, we got a way of, you know, approaching this week. Just, you know, you know, we still feel that feeling from when they came here two years ago, you know, and they beat us, you know, on our, on our home turf, and you know, we feel like we gotta, we gotta respond to that. Katie. Brian, we've talked with you a couple times this year, just kind of about the workload you've been handling. Uh, how good was the bye week for you to get a little bit of rest and recovery for your body going into this last stretch of the season? Well, the bye week was very helpful. You know, for me, I'm sure it was helpful for a lot of other guys who, you know, played a lot of football too. You know, for us, you know, just have that time to rest and recover and, you know, try to get our bodies feeling, you know, as good as we can, you know, going to this last stretch of the season. Charlie. Hey, Brian, going back to Michael's question about the 2019 game, you know, they kind of talked a lot on the field and off of it after the win. Just Is that something that for the older guys that were there and have been around, is that something you still talk about and maybe motivates you going into this year? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's something that we, you know, we keep lingering. We make sure people know, you know, you know, just the disrespect that was with that, you know, just how, how it made us feel and, you know, everything we got to do to make sure that, you know, that don't happen again. Tony. What have you seen from the red zone offense recently? And uh, just, just how confident are you in your ability to score um, when you guys get close to the end zone? Well, you know, the red zone offense, you know, just been productive. You know, we just, you know, we just got to get down there. We got to execute. We got to, you know, run the right plays and we got to run in the right way. And, you know, for me, I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm always confident that I can, you know, punch the ball in, you know, when I'm called on, especially in the red zone. 